Stephen Johnston and his Russian girlfriend Alina's storyline on 90 Day Fiancé. The other way could be scripted and fake, several clues suggest. Mormon man Stephen has been getting on every 90 Day Fiancé viewer's last nerve with his hypocritical and unremorseful behavior despite all the lies he has been telling Alina. Fans have been asking Alina to dump Stephen, especially after he revealed he's not a virgin and has made out with over 100 girls. So far, Stephen's red flags include him comparing himself to Jesus, cheating on Alina, replying to her friend Masha, and not being ready to get married. However, some fans think Stephen and Alina are only acting like Thayer in a bad relationship. Stephen and Alina met on a language exchange platform and had an instant connection. But Stephen, 25, didn't think he and Alina, 21 were exclusive, so he continued hooking up with multiple women. Stephen and Alina were together for a year and decided to get married so he could move to Russia. Yet, Stephen admitted he was going on dates one month before he left for Turkey and was also intimate with one woman while he was committed to Alina. All the while, Stephen expected Alina to stay virginal and prepare to be baptized into his religion before they could marry. On a recent 90 Day Fiancé, The Other Way episode, Alina admitted she used to drink wine with her friends in Russia and went out for parties before she decided to follow the rules of the Mormon Church for Stephen. But Alina also couldn't resist taking a sip of the wine she was tasting when Stephen confessed to not being celibate. Stephen asked her, Did you just drink that wine? Alina clapped back. Did you just slept with other girls? And gave 90 Day Fiancé fans an iconic line to remember? Alina Sips smiles. As Stephen spilled the tea about his affairs with 100 plus women, fans noticed Alina was resisting the urge to smile. Something about awkward Stephen impressing so many women fans found hard to believe. Some declared it was a lie to make him look like a playboy. Alina didn't show any shock upon learning about Stephen's big secret. Fans thought the couple may have rehearsed the scene several times before the producers okayed it, thus making them lose the element of surprise. Stephen's hitchhiking skills fail to impress. Although Stephen has done many antics on 90 Day Fiancé, the other way that are beyond belief, his hitchhiking in Turkey takes the cake. Instead of booking a cab that would take them to an immigration attorney, Stephen made Alina hitchhike while she kept saying that it was a little bit dangerous. Fans commented on the scene being a fresh example of next-level trickery by 90 Day Fiancé producers, as it felt too organized to be genuine. Not only were Stephen and Alina MICD up when they got into a stranger's car, but the vehicle was also followed by the crew filming the scene. It would have been impossible for the shot to be executed without at least two hired cars and prior planning. Not to mention, the driver was also wearing a mask and dropped Stephen and Alina off at the exact location, which would indicate he was probably a crew member or a rideshare driver. Alina Steven spotted together in Greece. Immediately after episode 7 of 90 Day Fiancé. The other way aired, proof of Alina and Steven still being together surfaced on Reddit. Fans found out Alina and her mother had company on their Greece trip. Fans had hoped that Alina dumped Steven by looking at her happy vacation clips on Instagram, but they experienced disappointment instantly.
The couple was spotted shopping in Crete with Anna and TLC viewers wondered how Alina could have forgiven Stephen so easily unless what they'd seen during the episode was them perhaps following a script.